Hi, today I'm going to show you how to build this one 200 scale tall control tower for your miniature airport. Let's get started. So what you're going to get in the kit is the PDF file that you use to print all the different parts that you're going to need to build the control tower. I recommend to use a thick paper, something like a cardstock paper, about 110 weight. Also for the top of the control tower, I recommend you print this also on a thick paper about 60 pound glossy. It's going to look really good. Okay, so for today's project, you're going to need some kind of cardstock, very thick paper that you can use to build the different towers. You're going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need an exacto knife with a new blade, you're going to need some tape, construction glue, and a ruler and then a place where you can make all your cuts. Okay, so let's get started with the top and the bottom parts. Anywhere you see a solid line, that means it's a straight cut. Anywhere you see a dotted line, it means it's a score. A score is a cut, but it doesn't go all the way through. It's just very light pressure on the blade, so you don't want to go through. In the case of this star, you want to cut all the way around it and then in between that's where you want to make the score because all of these guys are flaps that are going to fold over so again the score is a very light cut not going through the paper so that when you fold it you get a nice uh, straight line so let's get started with this star what I like to do is I like to put my blade right at the line put my ruler next to it and then line it up with the next line over there. As I mentioned to you, the part that I want to score is this and then cut that part. So you can start with a light score and then do the actual cut. And we're going to do that all the way around. a light score and then a cut This one didn't cut all the way through, so we just have to So here's your star. Like I mentioned to you, when you do the scores, then you can fold these very nice and straight and easy. So let's do this one. I like to do my scores first. So this one, let's do the scores. And then we can do a cut. And then same thing, go around it. First the score. And then the cut. A score and the cut. 
साथ है स्कोर Now what we need is to cut these little pieces here. You can do it either with the knife or you can use a pair of scissors. So once you're done with this, then you want to fold this little lips. And then get your construction glue. And then just put a little bit of glue all the way around it. And then fold those tabs inside. You kind of have to hold it a little bit just to make sure that it makes good contact. Also you can turn it and just apply some pressure. So this is going to be for the top of the tower. Now for the bottom of the tower, we're going to open this guy up, same thing, just put some glue all the way around it. And then fold in all these guys. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to strengthen the paper so by doing the fold and then the glue you get a nice strong base so same thing just put some pressure on it to make sure that it makes good contact and you got your base and then you got the top of the tower okay so now let's continue with the main tower again you want to do your scores first and then do your cuts so let's do the scores first. Again, the score is just a very light cut, not going through the paper. This is just to help you bend in a straight line the paper. So now that all the scores are done, we can start doing the cutting. So line it up with the solid lines. And 
And now you do want to go all the way through the paper, so this is an actual cut. You need to make the cuts on these guys. You can either do it with your blade or just use a pair of scissors. So this one is a straight and an angle. Go to the other side next. Now we just start folding. You see that it makes it really easy to fold once you've made the score. So now we need to put a little bit of glue on this lip right over here. make sure that they match in there make sure you press real hard to make to make contact so you get a nice so you can end up with a tower six size so now let's go ahead and start with the bottom fold these. You would notice the bottom because you have the door over here, so that's going to be the bottom of the tower. So bring back the little bottom piece that you made before. And you want to put a little bit of glue on all these flaps. And then you want to use these lines here as a guide to where you want to put this guy. So you may want to start over here. And then just kind of play with it, make sure that it stays within the lines. You're probably going to need uh, like a long pencil or piece of wood or something. I use this just to stamp on the tabs in the bottom to put some pressure. And then again, just kind of play with it so that it has, you know, stays within the, the little line. If you want to, you can put something here on top 
to put some pressure something like I don't know, maybe your mouse and let it sit there and dry out okay so before we get started on the final assembly I wanna share with you a couple of tips uh, when, when building these things uh, because this is made out of paper it's very light so if you put it in here it can drop very easily so to add some weight you may want to put in here maybe some gravel some pebbles or you can go and get a uh, an old stocking put about half to three quarter cup of sand and then just drop it into the tower what that's going to do is going to give it a nice feel nice weight so it's not going to top over you know when somebody accidentally kicks it so that would be a good tip for you to do okay so tip number two is the original design calls for this ring again it's optional to be put on top of the tower and then you have the top in here but you can get creative you can print a couple more pages and let's say you want to add a couple more rings just just to make it look a little different so you can do that and you know this will make it look a little different so again just play with it you can print as many rings as you want put them in there either leave them like this or put some glue and have them in there so I don't know have fun okay so next we're going to do the observation deck again these are all scores anything here in the middle is going to be score 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 scores because these are going to be folding and also you want to score here 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 all the way around for these little flaps that are also going to fold and then you know cut all the way around again I would recommend that you print this one on a glossy paper to give it a really nice uh, glossy look you know because it's supposed to be glass so again let's get started with the scoring so you line up your blade here and with the line down here and then you do a very light cut and then go all the way around it So I do a score and I do a cut. Then, like I said, these, these are a little funky because you have to line up with these little dotted lines. So don't get confused. Just make sure that you see the complete flap in there. So get it lined up. Score and a cut. Now that you want to cut these little areas here, 
Again, you can use your blade or you can use the scissors. Sometimes it's faster just to use the blade. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to fold every single one of these. And then you want to get a little piece of tape and put it right next here to the end here. And then just fold this one and then fold this one over and make sure they meet. So you end up with uh, something like a ice cream cone look alike. Now Fold these little flaps and then you want to get the top piece that you did before. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it around and then this guy is going to go right inside here. So just get your glue Put a little bit of glue on each one of the flaps. And then just like we did before, kind of stay within the line. So just kind of put it like that. And just make sure that it stays within the line. Now this one you may have to hold for a little longer to make sure the flaps make good contact. So again just, uh, just make sure that it's again stays within and just hold it down until the glue has set. And then you're going to end up with uh, the top of the tower. Okay, so now let's work on the top part of the tower. Again, we want to start with the scores and then we do the cuts. So we do score. in a cut and then we go around. This one is very similar to the other one that we did for the top. It's just a little smaller. We go with this one again. I like to do my scores first.
Now this one here you want to score here, but then this part you actually want to make this little bit of cut. So you do the score first, and then this little piece is a cut. You do your score first, and this little piece a cut. So now we can get these diagonals out of the way. Again, you can use a scissor or you can use a blade. So that's the one part. On this one, same thing, you want to cut this little end part. Okay, so now we fold all these tabs and then we put a little bit of glue around. And just like we did before, we want to fold them and glue them. These are a little tougher because they're small. But again, just make sure you get them all in there. It's probably easier to, once you have them like here, then just fold it over and then just add some, some pressure to make sure they all, they're all glued down. You may also want to put maybe like a heavy book or something for a little bit just to make sure that all these guys are glued down. Let's put this side. Then on this one, same thing, I'm going to fold it and then put a little bit of glue here and just fold this over, make sure that it lines up and then we're going to fold all these tabs So once again, you want to put a little bit of glue on each one of the tabs.
and like we did on the top, you want to use this edge to line up where this guy goes. So just line it up. Use the edge. And then just press on the tabs. So you see, you use that little line to line off all the sides. And you end up with a little top part of the control tower. Okay, so now we're going to build this optional radar ball that's going to go on top of the tower. This one is a little tricky. Everything that's inside all of these will be scores because everything has to kind of fold to make the ball. And then the outsides are cuts. I didn't put the dotted lines in here because there's so much of it, it would be way too confusing. So the easiest way to do this one is to actual, actually do all the external cuts, get the piece out, and then do the scores. So that's what we're going to do. So once again, just, you know, pick whatever you want to, to start and start doing the cuts. Just follow the lines. On something like this, you do want to cut all the way here to the end because it's going to be part of the flat. So over here, you want to cut from here all the way across. And then cut that little piece there. And then just kind of go around making your cuts. Okay, so now that you have all, uh, all of these cuts, let's go ahead and cut out first these corners, and then we do all the scoring. So we cut these out, so you can have these little tabs here. So again, this one is, is opposite to the other, t other things that you do the cuts first and then the scoring. Usually I do it the other way around. Now this one you want to make a cut in there. And you want to make a cut in there. In there. And in there.
case, you're going to end up with that. Now you want to make the scores. So the scores are going to be all around all the tabs, you know, all the way around, 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 and then in between the pentagons. So all of these are going to be scores. So for that, I do recommend using the ruler because it's going to give you a, a little nicer cut. Now in here, for examples, you can do two at the same time. Just score it here and score it there. Score it here and here. Score it there and there. make sure that uh, I got all my tabs okay so now let's do the inside of all the pentagons so Okay, so now we have all the pentagons. Okay. So now let's cut this one out. It's going to be the same as the other one, so I'm not going to bore you with it. Okay, so I finished cutting out the two pieces. They cut differently. This one is a little easier because it doesn't have all the tabs. So let's get started with the assembly. This is going to be basically your base, and then everything is going to glue around it. So you want to put a little bit of glue here and here, and on this tab at the end. So now you kind of put that in there, then you kind of close around it. So first you want to get this guy glued in. And then you can press over here the different corners and make sure the tabs are making contact. So you're going to have to play with it a little bit, but make sure that, you know, everything lines up. It's a little messy because there's a lot of glue in there. But as the glue dries, then it's easier. So I'm just going to go around, kind of feeling it. So you're going to end up basically 
with the bottom of the ball. So it's going to be the top, you're going to do the exact same thing. A little bit of glue there and there and on the tab. And same same thing. Just fold your tabs and then kind of close it in. Again, this one because it's so small and there's you know all this glue it gets a little messy. So just like what we did on the other one, just kind of, you know, work it. You know, push it a little bit. So what this is going to do is going to give you the top part of the ball. So you may want to give it a couple minutes for the glue to set so that it's nice and dry. And once it's all done, then what we're going to do is put it together. So we do that by bending all these tabs it's actually a little less messy if you put the glue on this side you know, go all the way around and then put the glue by the edge And then all you have to do is put the two parts together. It's very easy. You know, again, okay, just play with it. Make sure all the taps make good contact. And you have your radar ball. Okay, so now we're going to build this ring, which is optional. You don't have to put it in the tower if you don't want to. So, as always, we start with our scores first. And then we can go ahead and do the cuts. Once again, on this one you want to do the score and then a little piece here will be the actual cut.
Okay, so now we want to do the insides. Okay, so now we start by folding everything. Okay, so next we take the little guys that we cut before we fold with the little tabs. We turn this guy around and then we put a little bit of glue on each one of the tabs. Let's do the, the one side first. And then we put these guys in here. So what you want to do is you want to fold it and then line it up you see that it's lined up in there and then fold it line it up and then just go down the line folding and lining up. So once you've done one side, then you want to put a little bit of glue on the other tabs. And then basically do the same thing. Because they're already lined up here, then this makes it a lot easier to line it up with the top. All you have to do is fold and press. So you're going to end up with this little like box-like effect that when you turn it around that creates the ring. So now we have to put a little bit of glue here at the end. And then just put it in there. And you can you can fold it like this and then use that to 
you know, to press on that tab. Okay. So now you have your ring ready to go. Okay, so right now you have all your individual pieces finished, so let's put the whole thing together. We start with the ring. Again, the ring is optional. If you don't want to put it, you don't, but if you do, now will be the time to put the ring. You want to put it with the uh, little light that's on top. That's the top. It's going to match the little windows in here. So all you have to do is put the ring in here. You can either leave it like that, maybe put it down, whatever. If you want to glue it, what you would do is put a little bit of glue here and then slide the ring on top and get it glued that way. For now, I'm just going to put it in there before I decide what to do with it. So first, you put your ring. Next, you put a little bit of glue on all the tabs. And then you're going to take the top of the control tower and just slide it in there. And you push so that the tabs make contact. And you want to push until it really can't go any further. It's going to leave a little bit of a white gap. And all you want to do is just kind of hold it down and, you know, level it off. Just, just by looking at it, you'll see that you have a nice, even line in there. So you just kind of, you know, press lightly. Okay. Once that is in place, then you want to put the next part. Again, put a little bit of glue on the tabs. And then you want to use this little white line to kind of guide you where this thing goes. So just put it in there, press down, and then just hold it in place for a couple seconds to make sure that it dries. The last thing that you want to do, again, is optional. If you got your little ball, you can put a little bit of glue and then put the ball in there. In this case I put a little bit of dot glue just to hold it in there uh, provisionally. So once this is all nice and glued, you have your complete tower for a 1-200 scale airport. I hope you enjoyed it.